Hey there, and thanks for watching KXAN Live News Notes. I'm Will Dupree, coming to you from Austin on this beautiful Thursday. We're starting off talking about presidential politics. It's taking over everything, and we have some news about the next presidential debate. That event between President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden may not happen after all. The Commission on Presidential Debates announced the town hall debate, scheduled to happen a week from today, would be held remotely for the candidates to offer protection and safety. However, President Trump, who is still receiving treatment for COVID-19, told Fox News that he would not participate. The Biden campaign sent out a statement that the former vice president would indeed be a part of it, so stay tuned. After the chaos of that first presidential debate, last night's event with the vice presidential candidates followed a much more traditional format. Senator Kamala Harris and Vice President Mike Pence debated in Utah about the economy, jobs, and racism. However, COVID-19 dominated the early part of that debate. Now, coming up tomorrow night, you can tune in at 7 o'clock for KXAN's live debate between the Texas candidates running for U.S. Senate. Hear directly from Republican Senator John Cornyn and Democratic challenger M.J. Hagar on issues that affect you. And then stay with us for an hour-long special edition of our weekly political news program, State of Texas. In other news, starting next Wednesday, Governor Greg Abbott says bars can't open at 50 percent capacity if county judges approve it. All other businesses will be allowed to open to 75 percent capacity. Judges in Dallas, San Antonio, and Houston all say they will not approve bars reopening right now. Locally, in Hayes and Travis counties, judges say they need more time to look over the order and consult with public health officials. However, three county judges in Bastrop, Burnett, and Williamson say they will reopen bars and do so as soon as Wednesday. Williamson County's done amazingly well uh, in, with COVID and with our response. We've successfully opened restaurants, we've successfully opened schools, and I, I want you to know that uh, we will be the first county in Texas to open up on October the 14th or 15th as soon as we can with our bars. The governor's protocol says counties that opt in have to work with the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission to implement safety protocols. Dance floors must remain closed. Customers must be seated while eating or drinking with limited exceptions. Customers must also wear masks when not at tables and tables can only have six people max. Right now, COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations are mostly flat in Travis County. Austin Public Health says that is okay because we've increased our risk with more things reopening. As for bars, Interim Medical Director and Health Authority Dr. Mark Escott will make some new safety recommendations if the Travis County judge allows bars to reopen. So some of the changes that we're looking at right now are related to uh, people being seated at, at tables rather than milling around in a bar, uh, about ordering uh, at a bar safely. One concern that Dr. Escott does have is parties. That's because they can be super spreader events. He says Austin Public Health will recommend criminal charges if they find people broke any laws. On a wall in downtown Austin is a reminder of the lives lost during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Austin Latino Coalition says Latinos make up half of the deaths in Austin Travis County. Take a look. The group painted a mural at the corner of Fifth and Congress to honor those who died of COVID-19. The words read, in Austin, more than 200 of our grandfathers, grandmothers, Fathers, mothers, wives, husbands, sons, daughters, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, dear friends have been victims of COVID-19. Since April, the Austin Latino Coalition has worked to educate the Latino community about COVID-19 protection. Such a beautiful sight there. Well, thanks everyone for joining us for KXAN Live News Notes on this Thursday. I'm Will Dupree. We'll see you back here with another look at your headlines tomorrow.